So whenever you crash your drone in a lake, a river or a small stream or water, don't panic. This video is going to help you fix that drone. Hello everyone, welcome again to Easy Media YouTube channel. This video is going to be on helping those that have crashed their drone in the water and how to fix it. So basically here is a drone I got from Kijiji. I bought this drone for about 70 bucks and the owner told me that he crashed it in water and he didn't uh, want to just trash it out but he wanted to sell it for someone that needed the drone for parts so he reached out to me and I met him and he sold this drone to me so basically this is what I found out that the drone actually was crashed in the water and um, I noticed that uh, this moko was all over the drone inside the battery was actually condemned the battery that came with the drone so I took my battery from my um, my drone and I tested it when I got home and here is what I found out so I put in the, the battery here on the drone. Here I'm going to show you exactly how much bar is in the battery. So you know that it's not a dead battery and that's why the drone doesn't power. So here there's the, the battery. I'm going to put it in and give a test if it's going to turn on. And here you see it didn't turn on. There was no light at all. So now I'm going to take out the battery and show you guys just how easy it is to fix a drone that you crashed in water so you don't need to panic first of all take out the four screws just like you already know in the previous video and next you're gonna make sure you pry out the top shell pretty easy so pretty nicely don't don't apply too much force take it easy on the sides and unlock the shell so when you take out the shell you find out that uh, the drone itself inside is messed up with a lot of uh, mucors and uh, and dirt due to the water that it crashed in. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I fixed this drone. Here you see in the power uh, panel, on the power board, you see how it's messed up. It simply means that uh, the battery, the drone actually crashed in the water and it was there for some time you see the water didn't really dry out that's why you have all those greenish or bluish um, uh, mucos in the panel so don't worry we're gonna just walk through how to fix this so first of all you're gonna take out the GPS module and after taking out the GPS module you see here the GPS module has all the residual on need to the mucos then next you're gonna take out the power board so the power board receives the battery that's the top board there that connects to the propellers and after taking out the two screws on the power board you need to remove the the bottom plate and the bottom plate there you see you just remove nicely with the prime tool and there you go so here you see a lot of dirt underneath the um, the cooling panel so the cooling panel there you need to remove there you have to remove the two three screws there and when you remove that you see right here as you see a lot of more <laughs> dirt some particles are there so we're gonna need a lot of washing and cleaning up for the panel there then you take out the gimbal flex and the GPS module flex so next you have to remove the main board the main board there it's already uh, uh, dirty is messed up and it's uh, it's been having this dried water particles there you remove the antenna wires and after the removing the antenna wires you have to remove the board so before you remove the board you make sure that the top panel the power panel the power board has to be removed and um, after removing the two screws you will need a soldering iron uh, to actually unsolder the propeller wires so next you have to remove the propeller wires just like you're gonna see here on the screen again you see that the uh, wires just there the black white and red make sure you remove the bottom uh, main board cable flex before you t uh, unsolder the wires so that's what I just removed then you get your soldering pin you remove the LED uh, cable first that's just what I just removed and you unsolder the, the, the wires Mm -hmm. 
so after unsoldering the wire you have to take out the power board the power board is really dirty with all the mucors in it that's why it's not powering on then the power um, board you can just remove from the bottom just like you see the gps module you see you can remove that uh, bottom cover and see if there are deaths inside but for this one they are not dead so I'm just gonna cover it back just like you see and now you have the drone without all the boards then the next step you need to get IPA IPA or you get uh, any alcohol or alcohol based uh, clear alcohol based subst um, liquid and now you're just gonna put them in a flat tray like you see there sprayed sprays amount of um, IPA or alcohol in it then get a small brush like the brush you see here on the screen and just wash it through just brush it then get a blower to just dry it quickly so you don't leave the alcohol in the panel so there you see it's going off and i'm just going to put more wash it off and add more ipa then dry it off so you see the whole green mucos are gone and that's pretty good so it simply means that when it is dry the current or the power which is going to go from the battery is going to go so on the gps module the same thing and uh, you wash just lightly with the brush and dry it up quickly then next is going to be the the cooling panel that cools the drone so you wash that you spray it and just dry it. don't worry about the um the grease the blue grease that is on it it's uh fine you don't need to wash the grease off because uh, you might not be able to have a grease like that to put back so just spray in the corners and use the brush to just wash through the grease is not going to go off which is fine and that's taken care of so next we're going to put back the power board and the main board to see if the battery is going to power it on this time So after putting the power board, you need to put back the main board because the main board it's where it's actually the main operating system for the drone. So you put that back, you make sure you connect the power board um, flex. Then don't worry about any other thing. Just don't worry about the um, the antenna cables. Just test the battery, just like I'm putting the battery here now to test. see the three LED lights have to power on if it actually what we did is good and here you see it works so the washing has taken care of the board and the drone has been able to power on with the battery so you see the LED light is flashing telling you that there is uh, actually power going into the main board so I'm gonna turn it off now and see how to uh, show you how to connect the board properly back the main board uh, for now I skipped the um, antenna cables and also the gimbal and the GPS uh, flex so I'm gonna put that properly back I'm connecting the gimbal and the GPS module flex now and I'm gonna put back the antenna wires we have two antenna wires there from the two propellers two front prop propellers then we're gonna put back every other part that we've taken off but first of all it's always good to check again with the battery and see if um, everything powers on and see if the gimbal you see the gimbal rotated so that means um, the gimbal flex is fine and the gimbal is working good so make sure the gimbal actually stays in place when you move it around just like you see and yeah the drone is uh, pretty much back and we're just gonna put back every other part and see how it works from here so you're gonna put back all the um, propeller wires back make sure you follow the the, the color to each uh, area so the white the red and the black should be put in place in where they're supposed to be and that should be pretty much it for the propellers so next you're gonna put back the GPS module and put back the power board um, screws so here you see I'm putting back the rubbers that holds the screws together the kind of shocks for it then the uh, GPS module you need to make sure everything is clean just like I'm doing here and you put back the rubbers neatly into the various holes So 
so after putting the GPS module back you make sure you um, align it properly and the flex here I noticed that the flex for the GPS module have some of those um, uh, mucos I'm just gonna put spray the IPA and just brush it off quickly and uh, that should fix it so you brush it off again neatly and dry it up with the blower so when you dry it that should work perfectly well with the GPS module the GPS module is actually very very tough it's uh, I'm surprised it's so this GPS module survived the crash in the water in my previous video where I showed you how to uh, replace the GPS module uh, that I didn't even crash my drone in the water but the GPS module was faulty probably because of the collision I had with the drone but for this one the GPS module is fine as you can see I'm putting back the LED uh, wire the cable back there and you have to put back the two screws that holds the power board and next you make sure you connect back the uh, the cooling uh, panel for the main board and you put back the three screws that holds it then put back the bottom the bottom case back and that's it so we're gonna put back the two screws that holds the bottom case and give it another test so I'm gonna put out battery you see it perfectly worked well the gimbal is rotating LED lights are on and you see the LED connection for the drone it's blinking so it's a good thing so now i'm trying to connect with the remote control and i'm pairing the drone into the controller and there you see everything works well there is no navigation error and the propellers are rolling all of them are fine and the drone is perfectly back to brand new so that's a very very easy fix for you guys who crashed your drone in the water and you want to trash it don't trash the drone if you can fix it um, leave a comment for me in, in the description below so here you go the drone is back I'm gonna give it another test everything works very well from here and that's it everything is fixed so uh, one thing you need to do after this just like you see previously you need to do an update for the drone and be necessarily do another calibration when you want to fly and that's it so next year we're just gonna power off the drone and put back the top case So after putting back the, the top case, um, what you need to do here is just to give it another blow. You can just wash it. For me, I'm just spraying the IP on the drone to wash all the debts from the, um, the, the repair. I'm just using the IPA. So again, one of our subscribers actually asked the question how to clean the drone. And it's very pretty very straightforward. So get an alcoholic based liquid. Uh, like you see on the screen, I'm using the IPA. It's more like alcohol, uh, about 99% uh, alcohol based uh, liquid. You just spray it on the drone and get a paper towel to just wipe it through. That's just it. So you see here the drone is clean and it's brand new again i will say brand new again because the person i bought this drone from told me he flew it just once and it crashed into the water and he had to go buy another drone so that's why he sold this for me for 70 bucks so that's just exactly what happened and here the drone is back to life and i believe i hope this is going to help a lot of you who have crashed your drone in water or who is going to crash their drone into water and just make a very quick fix and it's gonna be just um, splendid for all of you so thank you guys for watching if this is your first time here don't forget to leave a like make a comment and don't forget to subscribe uh, you can share this uh, video with um, anyone who has crashed the drone in the water and for our returning subscribers thank you guys for coming back again and we love you all from easy media and do have a wonderful day Keep watching, keep subscribing and look, we're looking forward to more uh, amazing videos. Thank you guys. Bye.